Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Jen, and I've been teaching myself how to knit with a knit sheath. And I'm coming along. I'm going to say that I'm pretty good. I'm certainly better than I was when I started. I'm, I can knit in the traditional way, the English way, the picking way, and I can knit continental. And what I wanted to learn was how to use a supported right spindle because I've seen people who can make this method work and they are fast. Fastest knitters in the world. So the idea is that you knit like this and you have a device called a knit sheath which holds the, the right hand needle. It puts a lot of the motion into your fingertips and into your left hand. Now, what I'm using as an improvised knit sheath is this, which is actually a knitting needle. It's one of those cheap aluminum knitting needles, a big one. I think this one was size 11, was before I had the end popped off. It's a hollow tube, and I've got it stuffed down the end with um, fiber, of course, because I have a lot of that. And then I take my knit sheath and I secure it in my belt. Like that, a double pointed needle into the knit sheath, and then I push it down into position. Makes for a pretty good knit sheath. So, any trouble I've had, I don't think that's the cause of it. I think I just need more practice. So, I'm sure that there are as many different hand positions for this method of knitting as there are for any other method of knitting. And here's what I found works for me palm up with the working yarn across the inside of my fingers, turn my hand, and then I like the working yarn between my index and my middle finger. I use this thumb a lot to pull this right-handed needle in a back and forth method. I use these two fingers to wrap the working yarn, and I use my left hand to do the up to the back. Like I said, I use this thumb to pull the stitch off. Like a lot of knitting, when I mean, you're comfortable with it and you're doing it for real as at the pace that you are able to work. Some of the most important motions are the smallest and hardest to see. Okay. So I finished up this row. When you're done, let's see. What is your right hand needle comes out? The empty needle goes in. Push it back into position there. And start over. Now let's see how good I can do when I don't talk. That's about as fast as I can go so far. Certainly faster than I was. What I have found with this method is that I can, when I got the rhythm going, I can knit about as fast as I could if I were knitting continental. That works for me personally. But with this method, my stitches, my gauge is a lot tighter than it would have been if I'd knitted continental. I can knit fairly fast, 
and tight with almost no strain building up in my hands with this method. Oops, I do that a lot. And that's a benefit. Now, you're going to ask me, how do you make a purl stitch? Ha! Huh. Well, I'll try. I haven't been practicing this at all. But I'm pretty sure that it's adjusting the angle either here or here is going to be necessary for some pearls. There you go. Not a how-to video, just a documentation. That's how I'm doing on my knitting with a supported right spindle.